To begin, welcome to the Diocese of Texas. I'm Travis Smith and I represent the Southwest Convocation on your behalf and on behalf of all four of our bishops. I lead a rather impressive group of clergy, uh, which you will soon find out uh, from Richmond to Sugarland to Wharton all the way down to Freeport. We are a close-knit group and we pride ourselves, uh, first of all, uh, for not being um, high maintenance for our bishops. Uh, but secondly, uh, for taking our calls seriously and not ourselves so seriously. So this part of the diocese is experiencing tremendous growth, which we see, we, we pretty much uh, think will continue for some time uh, because of the oil industry and the gas industry and because of the Freeport, uh, Port of Freeport expanding. Um, and with all these new people, there's a lot of work to be done. And with uh, the creative clergy that uh, is uh, that are here, um, the good things are bound to happen and are already happening. So, for example, St. Tim's in Lake Jackson, which has uh, had a, a thriving prison ministry for some time, uh, they are recently have recently begun expanding the ministry and putting much more emphasis on it than even before. Uh, under Brendan's uh, leadership. As well, they've gone into the neighborhood uh, like they have not before, doing um, over 2,000 flyers going door to door uh, in the surrounding neighborhood to welcome them to the Easter services. Um, Christ Church in Eagle Lake, uh, starting last summer under Stephen's leadership, uh, went to the, uh, the school district and asked what they could do. And, and from that conversation, they began a uh, summer lunch program for the, the kiddos, the needy kiddos, and they, they've made over 1,600 uh, lunches and will continue to do so this summer. Uh, Holy Cross and Sugarland, uh, they put a, a huge emphasis on their children's ministry and on their youth uh, programs and have uh, been having wonderful success in their discipleship programs. Uh, always, uh, as is Scott's uh, kind of way, uh, being evangelistic and missional minded to anybody and everybody they can think of. Uh, and, and as uh, you can see behind me uh, here at Holy Comforter, uh, we have our own uh, project, uh, something for which we're very proud of, Farmer's Market. Um, and in fact, uh, the Reverend Robert Doley and his wife are vendors here, uh, one of our more successful vendors actually, making sweet treats uh, every two weeks uh, for the patrons, and they just about um, sell it every single time. Um, all of us in this convocation are rather passionate about evangelism and about ecumenism. Um, each of us have played our own parts in Harvey Help and Recovery, emphasizing community building in our, our own special ways. Um, and we are all in our own ways uh, very passionate about uh, bridging those gaps between the denominations and the churches to do more impressive and important work for our community. And so finally, I'm going to brag a little bit on our newest uh, clergy person in the convocation in uh, West Columbia, Miss uh, Reverend Sharon Cox. Uh, she's hit the ground running, uh, continuing in uh, St. Mary's important work with uh, our troops, uh, doing care packages and sending them to uh, those uh, who they know um, and always looking to expand that ministry. Uh, they have just recently begun their uh, children's formation program uh, and doing great things with that. Uh, and as always, maintaining their uh, wonderful campus, uh, a source of pride for the parish. And so there's a lot uh, to be proud of uh, down here. And we hope that all of our bishops are proud. Uh, and I want to say that we are so very grateful that God has led you to us. And we cannot wait to meet you in person again. Welcome to the diocese.